One discovery I've made while making all of these book reviews is how often I expect a book to go in one direction, for it to be about a specific topic from a certain perspective, and the book is not about that at all. And sometimes it's a really great surprise. Sometimes, though, I find myself wishing that I was reading the book that I thought I was going to be reading. I'm really divided in my thoughts on Divided Nation, Culture in Chaos and a Conflicted Church by Ken Ham, because it wasn't the book that I thought I was going to be reading. Right now, Marxism and Marxist principles are dividing our nation. They are dividing our churches. Marxism is the foundation for the social justice movement, Black Lives Matter, critical race theory, intersectionality, and the entire woke movement, a movement that is created to divide and conquer a society. I expected Kent Ken Ham to provide us with the book on how Genesis 1 through 11, which is really Ken Ham's entire ministry at Answers in Genesis. It's about the importance of those 11 chapters in crafting our worldview. So I assume that Divided Nation would be about how Genesis 1 through 11 speaks to and against the Marxist divide in America and in our churches. It's not that. The premise of the book is that our society's claim to support a neutral, science-based view of the world is a lie. They claim not to be influenced by their faith and by their worldviews, so there's no harm for a Christian young person to learn evolutionary theories and an evolutionary worldview because it's just the natural result of following the facts. This neutral view of science is a lie. There is no such thing as unbiased science. Our culture and society at large through our governmental schools and our media and our news agencies, they are all pushing a worldview. They all have agendas that they want to mold us into to fit what they want us to be. So when they say trust the science or follow the science, this isn't really a call to trust in the scientific process. They're telling us to trust in the results that they have decided upon based on their, at times, legitimate means of scientific inquiry, and at other times, very illegitimate means of scientific inquiry. Trust the science is to follow a worldview where gender is whatever you want it to be. It doesn't matter what someone's scientific DNA is. A baby, while in her mother's womb, it's not really a baby. People can find value and importance in the color of their skin. A hundred years ago, it was sinful to be black, and it was great to be white. And now it's bad to be white, and it's better to be black. We have no basis in science for any of this. I've been reading plenty on Marxism over the past year, and it is shocking how much of Marxism and their atrocities that have been committed against minorities is built upon Darwinism. The worst events of World War II could be directly linked to Charles Darwin and Karl Marx. The only way for the church to avoid the plague and corruption of Darwin and Marx is to hold to a historical view of Genesis 1-11, through 11, where we see the creation, the fall, the flood, and the Tower of Babel as historical events that occurred as described in the scriptures. And this is where Ken Ham shines, and really where he has always shined in his ministry. Far too many believers in Jesus Christ underestimate the importance of believing Genesis 1 through 11. Genesis 1 through 11 should be seen as historical as the resurrection of Jesus Christ. We reject the death and resurrection of Jesus, and we lose our hope for eternal salvation. On the other hand, when we reject the seven-day creation to the fall of Adam and Eve, to the flood, to the Tower of Babel, we lose the sanctity of every human life, the truth of the foundation of the family, the universality of sin and our need for a savior, and the understanding that we are all one race who are of equal value before God. The worst evils in this world are prevented by a simple belief in the events of Genesis 1 through 11. 
Now I say there's nothing mind blowing or unexpected in Divide a Nation. I assumed that Ken would dive into Marxism and into critical race theory and intersectionality because those are the hot button issues of our day, but they, they really don't come up. Uh, this book is really about how science should not be seen as a ne neutral arbiter in order to determine what is truth in our culture. Science is instead being used and manipulated today as a defense of an anti-Christian worldview. If you are familiar with Ham's writings and his teaching, this is ground he has covered again and again. But at the same time, this makes it no less important. And with the direction our nation is heading, I think we need more men like Ken Ham to double down on the importance of the historical reality of Genesis 1 through 11 instead of moving on to other topics. It's hard not to recommend Divided Nation for one because it's so short. This is not going to take you any time to read through it. And I think a lot of us need a refresher on the important foundation of the beginning of God's word to let us know where to stay and in the divisions of America. We must build our salvation for eternity upon the rock which is faith in Jesus Christ. And we must build our understanding for sin and gender and the family and more based upon the rock of Genesis 1 through 11. So I encourage you to pick up your copy of Ken Ham's latest book, Divided Nation. And if you enjoyed this review and you want to stay connected to the wonderful world of Christian literature, I'd encourage you to subscribe to the Rev Reads YouTube channel.